We want to talk about arranging your art against the wall, whether that be a gallery wall or leaning right. art. And I think this is a nice thing for uh, those of us to consider that have special pieces that we want to have significance or that are too lazy to actually put right. nails in the wall. <laughs> this is a beautiful Nailing way to do it. Nailing things up can be complicated. This is very easy. So yeah, this and is great. It, and you know what? To be honest, I think this is a great idea for people who are renting and maybe don't, oh. uh, you know, aren't allowed to put a lot of holes in the wall. And, and it still looks so great, and it feels special. I think I think it feels like it's more curated and unique things that mean something to you. So, um, and the layering effect, I think, gives it a very contemporary vibe, which is also nice. So it almost feels like a studio sort of feel. That's correct. Yeah. So uh, in your home, it's layered with a mirror, uh, yep. which we have a picture of. And you can do that. You can use a mirror. You can use special items that are part of your world. Here we've got the beautiful, like the palm and the vase. You've got the nice pieces of birch, yeah. the magazines, the ladder rack. I like to interject different pieces so that yeah. it makes it feel, again, a little bit more curated and unique. Um, so yeah, I've just grabbed some pieces that I have around the house. Some things are really meaningful. Some things I just think, you know, work. So you can use anything, and that's the great thing about it. So um, vases or any kind of interesting uh, little little plaques or anything really you can use. Um, we've leaned a ladder here with a throw blanket. Again, just gives it a very casual kind of vibe. Yes. And the layering effect, I think, is what makes it uh, really have that contemporary feel as well. As per usual, it's all about the editing. Yeah, and so if you're sure. editing properly, you've gotten yeah. rid of all of the stuff that you don't absolutely love yeah. and you've kept the things that are gorgeous yeah. in your space and your eye line so you can enjoy them every day. Exactly. That's what it's about. Exactly. I also want to mention before I yeah. forget, so this uh, little display that we've done, we've actually set it on a piece of wood and we've mm -hmm. used magazines underneath to prop it up a little bit so again you can use things like that That's to play smart. with it so if you feel like the height's too low you can prop this up on something this could be leaning on a console table so really you can do it anywhere in your house that is so smart okay let's talk a little bit about a gallery wall mm -hmm. uh, we've done these before they can be a little finicky yeah. because if you want everything to be perfectly spaced Crazy. You'll it'll, go crazy. It'll drive you nuts. <laughs> exactly. If something's crooked, it happens in my house yeah. all the time. So this is an iteration of a gallery wall, but it's a little bit more relaxed. Right. Again, I'm looking for a more contemporary sort of vibe and a little bit more free-flowing, and it's super easy. You actually don't even really need a measuring tape for most of this, which Ooh, I think like is that. really fun. And like you said, if everything's not lining up perfectly, you won't really notice. So it's kind of more, uh, more easygoing <laughs> installation. Okay. So I'll show you. I've actually started to tape things out. Uh, so basically what you want to do is figure out your wall span on the wall and then mark it out and then bring that down to paper. So I've put the sheets of paper together on the floor and I've marked out my parameter of the wall. Okay. Because I don't want this to be a very structured gallery wall, mm -hmm. I've actually offset the corners. So you'll see that the corners actually don't line up. So my square or my rectangle isn't quite even and that's to get a more contemporary feel. Mm -hmm. So once I've marked it out with the green painter's tape on the paper, I've brought that up to the wall and now I know where all my corner pieces are. So I start with the corner pieces. So I'm going to start with the, with the bottom corner piece actually. That'll be the easiest. Okay. So, now this is, this is also super easy if you have a single hanging uh, clamp or a picture wire on the back. So again, if you have pictures that have two hanging pieces, you might want to consider just putting a picture, uh, a, a single on yes. or a picture um, wire on to make it easier. So I have marked out my corner, so I hang this on the corner and there you go. Perfect. Okay, great. Now. This tool is so handy. So what I've done here is I've taken a painter's stick. Okay. I've screwed a little screw through. So the screw is actually still hanging in the front mm -hmm. and it's poking out through the back. And this allows me to, I will show you with this one. So you're gonna do the other corner piece. This allows me to actually hang my picture on this screw. Ah. And then I hold it up to the bottom corner. Yeah. And then I push this into the wall in the exact place where I want to put the nail. And when I move that out, oh, I have so a little pin. Yeah. Walls did it take you before you invented that? Because that's genius. I know. <laughs> that is so smart. We've, it's hard to figure it out. You've got your fingers behind it and you can't figure out exactly where it goes. It's so true. So now you know uh, where you need to, to hang your hanger. It's true. It's not easy, especially if you're really trying to line everything up. And um, I don't know, but once I start measuring, I'm good for maybe two pictures and then 
I lose my mind. Yes. So, <laughs> yeah. This well, is that's a why this easier. is a great system. Uh, a more organic system is going to be a little bit more forgiving. Um, and as you mentioned, if things are not completely straight, you won't go as insane. We'll Speaking fix of that. completely straight. Yeah, we'll <laughs> fix that. Also, think about incorporating pieces that are not just art. I mean, or they can Absolutely. be art, but in a different form. For you sure. see there's some faux antlers here as well that you're going to throw in there. You can put in shadow boxes with pieces that you love. All of this is actually going to go up on the wall. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stacy's going to use her system, and when we come back, you're going to see the final result. Let's I want to show you the final art wall here. So the gallery wall hung by Stacy uh, during the break. And because you had set it up so organically, it was a much easier process. Super easy, yeah. And the thing I like about it is that really the only measurements I had to take were the outside corners. Mm -hmm. And even then, not lining it up allows everything else in the center to be really free-flowing too. So you really can just play with it and see what looks best and you don't have to be so precise. Now, speaking of not being so precise, it's really nice that you've mixed up the different frames in there. So don't yeah. feel like you have to get all the same frame set. For you can sure. have some fun with scale. Mix it up a little bit, exactly. Yeah. So have some fun with scale. Um, I've no you might notice that I've used mostly white and black frames, but then I did interject a little bit of gold just to have a little bit of pop. Yeah. The other thing is, when you're doing a gallery wall with multiple images, you probably want to stay more neutral in the color scheme. So a lot of black and white or sepia tones, and then just little pops of color here and there. So it it doesn't look too messy or cluttered if you have a lot of color happening throughout the whole wall. Um, the other thing I find is that gallery walls tend to look great if you have either a very dark wall color behind it or a white wall color because again it really draws your eye to the art then, the installation of the art. Very good call and you know most of these pieces are actually Stacy's and yeah. I like the fact that you just took fabric there and framed it. If you're looking for a piece and you want to make like you want it to be big and you don't have the money. Yeah you can do anything really like yeah. make any interesting object into into art. So this like you said is a fabric. Uh, we've taken some photos. Um, that we liked and matted them with large matting. Some have uh, the image goes right to the border. So again, play with it. Everything doesn't have to be exactly the same. You want to have fun with it. So here's what was cool. Our cameras were rolling uh, during the commercial break as Stacy was sweating and hanging the art. She wasn't even sweating. She did such a good job. You're going to find that video on our website, cityline.tv, and she's got great tips for you there as well. Thanks, I'm gonna, Stace. I'm taking off my last piece of tape, too. <laughs> oh, that's right. Take off the tape at the end. That's a good lesson right there.